guys, it's Rachel, and this video is all about my experience at Smorgasburg in Santa Monica. For those of you guys who don't know, Smorgasburg showcases about 100 local and regional food vendors each weekend, and they have locations in LA and New York, I believe. So the very first food vendor I went to was a maize bowls and they serve acai bowls in coconut shells or in regular cups but they decorate them really nicely and they even put edible flowers on them. While the acai bowl itself tasted really good, I was disappointed with a few things. So first off, the coconut shell is actually frozen solid, so you can't really eat it until it defrosts. And then secondly, when you order the coconut shell, you do receive less acai. And so even though you're paying more, you're actually receiving less because the bowl is smaller. So due to these couple of issues, I would give Amaze Bowls 3 out of 5 stars, but in terms of taste and in terms of Instagram worthiness, I would highly recommend it. Alright, the next place I visited was Hot Star Fried Chicken, and I believe they actually come from a night market in Taiwan. Basically, they serve these huge slabs of fried chicken and then you can top it off with some seasoning and you can choose the spiciness level of that seasoning as well. So they definitely serve a huge piece of chicken and my friend and I split one because it was just so gigantic, but it tasted absolutely delicious. It's kind of like if you've ever gotten popcorn chicken at like a boba place like Quickly or something like that. It tastes like that, but on an upgraded and elevated level because it's huge. I'd have to give Hot Star a 4 out of 5 stars because it was so good, although it's not the most pretty thing to photograph for Instagram. Okay, now moving on to Donut Friend. Donut Friend is a place that sells really unique flavored donuts, and they have a bunch of different options. I got the Polar Berry Donut, and my friend Anna got the Creme Brulee Donut. Unfortunately, Donut Friend was not my friend because, first of all, the donuts were about $4 each, which is pretty expensive, and they also did not taste that great. I mean, they tasted like average donuts to me. There wasn't anything that's really special about them. Okay, last but not least, the second dessert that we got at Smorgasburg was from Wanderlust Creamery. I had to get two flavors because I've been to Wanderlust before and I know they're amazing. So I got the Violet Marshmallow and the OG Cha Plus Caramel. And both flavors were absolutely divine, so Wanderlust gets a 5 out of 5 from me. Thanks so much for watching my Smorgasburg adventure. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you next week.